just want to start off this video by apologizing to everybody, especially vegans. Sorry, vegans. Is that even okay to say? That is not meant to come off insensitive in the slightest. Like, I get it. But let's not talk about that right now. As you guys know, I am on a weight loss journey. Um... And recently I filmed a video of what I was eating when I was a vegetarian. I only succeeded of 10 days. That's okay though. At least I tried, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I am getting an overwhelming amount of views and comments on that video. About 98% of the people commenting on that video is telling me, go vegan, go vegan, you'll lose weight, you'll lose weight, you can eat as much as you want. I'm being a vegan, you can eat as many potatoes as you want. And French fries are vegan and Oreos are vegan. And ugh, a lot of you really really believe that going vegan will cause me to lose weight no matter how much i eat i'm so much better than majority of you it's disgusting pretty sure no one was saying this no one said you can eat unlimited oreos and lose weight seems like she was already setting up her audience to take the blame for her inevitable failure at weight loss as usual chicken is one of my favorites if it's like cooked the right way um i really like my meat like thoroughly thoroughly cooked and I enjoy cheese and I love milk. I know that's like weird, <laughs> but I like milk and I like cereal and I like putting milk inside a cereal and I like drinking milk and just milk is delicious. Anyone else remember Amber's milk trauma story? She told us she binged on milk as a child and blamed it on her foster parents. Didn't even know that was possible, but our girl did it. I appreciate your guys' like opinions and your guys' like, you can do it, you can be a vegan. No, I can't do it. I really would fail completely. I never, ever, 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 ever give up. If I tried to be a vegan, it wouldn't be because of me, it'd be because you guys are urging me to do so. I'm a big worry wart and I feel like if I'm not getting the right nutrition, that I will have to turn to supplements if I was a vegan and I'm not into taking any sort of pills. I don't like taking anything, even just Tylenol. Eye rolls, I see you. You are judging me. I don't want to take supplements. And meat has a lot of, you know, nutrient that you do need. Worried about not getting the right nutrition? The way she picks and chooses things to worry about to fit her own delusional preconceived notion still happens all these years later. Scared of supplements, but not the hundreds of extra pounds on your body? Make it make sense fact that you guys think that I will be able to lose weight eating tons and tons of potatoes is silly to me because I won't. I lost 100 pounds by eating rice and potatoes. I have binge eating disorder and that means that I could easily binge on like mashed potatoes or like fried potatoes. However I make those potatoes, I could easily sit there and eat like hella of it and then turn around and eat a lot more of something aka Oreos because those are vegan. I don't have issues binging if i ever did do it which i probably won't it would be purely because i want to better the environment i really don't like when people push onto me other diet plans or ways of living because i feel like being a vegan is a really big way of living i almost feel disrespected in the comments almost and you are a disrespectful piece of shit. because so many of you are just like go vegan go vegan go vegan i I admire the vegans out there and the vegetarians. I admire you guys a lot because it's a lot of hard work. Stop telling me to be a vegan and stop acting like it's the only method for weight loss because it's really not. To lose weight, you have to eat less calories. That's all it takes. I have known a few vegans in my life where they were literally thinking they were super healthy, but they were like eating all this processed vegan stuff and they were eating the Oreos and certain other junk foods that were vegan. And that's, that's not a healthy like lifestyle. Who does she think she is talking about healthy lifestyles? What she just described would probably be better than the three plus takeout orders she eats daily. 
Just plain goofy to get on the internet and preach about nutrition when you're 500 pounds. You could still be a vegan and be completely unhealthy. You can be healthy eating vegan, vegetarian, or mammals. I mean, you can, it's just, you have to pick the right foods, the right lifestyle for yourself. That's code four. I'm gonna eat myself to death if I want to. I don't understand why she always goes into health coach mode and gives advice that she doesn't even follow. No one is listening to you. No one cares as Eric would say. You know, if you are a meat eater, go for tilapia and go for chicken. Those are lean meats, whatever. Help you lose weight, it'll prevent you from, you know, getting high cholesterol, this and that. But, I have an ass for days. If you look at the bigger picture, why eat chicken, a living creature full of hormones? Like, it's just, it all just... You really have to think about it, what you put in your mouth. It's weird, like. It's really not weird. What's weird is constantly thinking about what garbage is gonna go in your mouth next. What's weird is being a morbidly obese person and giving weight loss and health advice like you're some kind of expert. I'm about to watch Forks Over Knives. Someone said like I'm digging my grave with a fork, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they said. So a lot of people are telling me to watch this and I've been really, 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 like, possibly obsessed with these, like, vegan documentaries lately. Or vegetarian documentaries. Just documentaries about food in general. I hate food. And how it's really bad to eat meat. Like, this is so intriguing to me. Like, I love these documentaries. So far, I've seen um, Vegucate, I think it was called, which was last night. And I watched Food, Inc., Today, like right now, I'm gonna watch Forks Over Knives, and then if I have time or if I'm feeling like it, I'm gonna watch Cowspiracy. If you guys have any other documentaries you want me to watch, leave them in the comments below because I probably will watch them. So here we go. Bam Shabam.com. Did she ever really think that being vegan or even vegetarian would be obtainable for her? It is crazy how she flips her opinion on things so fast. I truly can't tell if she was rage baiting way back then or not. I want to tell you guys what I thought about the documentary I watched last night, which was Forks Over Knives. Gambling our life, rolling dice like knives on a platter. And I just want to tell you, I recommend this one to anybody out there who eats meat, who doesn't eat meat, because this one has been my favorite that I've watched because it really showed the the bad aspects of meat like meat causes cancer cheese causes cancer anything from animals animal protein causes cancer mind-boggling wow i i can't sit here and explain it to you guys you guys are gonna have to watch it it was incredible every single person who went on a vegan diet a plant-based diet completely lost their diseases like Wow, every single person? Did she go vegan when she had cancer? Nope. Weird. People with diabetes, people with cancer declined radiation and chose the vegan diet instead and their cancer went away. Freaking amazing. Calories counting has saved millions of lives. So many people on their deathbed and they counted calories and ate the right amount of food and bam. If this were true and every single person was magically cured after going vegan, don't you think we'd have far less deaths from these diseases? She said these things like it's such a simple fix. He went out there, knows me. You know that I don't like medication, meds and alcohol. You know that I'm a worry wart and I feel like I have every disease in the world, but I don't. <laughs> Hashtag hypochondriac. I have an eating disorder, athlete's feet, obsessive compulsive personality disorder. I have asthma, lymphedema, lipoedema, PTSD, elevated high blood pressure, anxiety slash panic disorder, bladder infection, excoriation disorder, multiple torn ligaments. I am bipolar. I have cellulitis. Cellulitis, again. Obviously, I was diagnosed with depression. Jaundice. Sleep apnea. Do I have a hernia? Gallstones. A partially collapsed lung. A sludge in my gallbladder. Memory loss. I have always hallucinated. Hashtag hypochondriac. I would rather be a vegan than have to take any medicine ever. Just hearing the things in this documentary about cancers and the protein from animals is horrible for you and you get high cholesterol from it and you get colon cancer and prostate cancer and breast cancer just everything like i don't know it was the most amazing thing i've ever watched and i 
My thoughts about veganism have changed so much. It didn't last long. Nothing ever does with her. As long as orange chicken and seafood boils exist, there is no way Hamburg will ever be vegan. Destiny was out and she was picking something up for dinner at Walmart that we can make here. Talking about Walmart again. I swear she was just addicted to Walmart. I don't understand what it is. Oh, I just can't stand to go to Walmart half the time now. A moment of silence for Destiny's Walmart trauma, please. And I used to get this uh, General Tso's chicken that is so good. You cook it in the oven and stuff. And I texted her and I was like, yeah, I want the General Tso's chicken. And then as soon as I sent it, like it made my stomach hurt. And I was like, ew, no, I don't. It's disgusting. So instead I had her get me a veggie patty. So I had veggie patty and some white rice. Like, oh, that show has changed me. I feel like I have a lot of meat product in our fridge, so I don't want to waste any of it, but. <sighs> I have to toss it. I can't. I hate that I had to just waste food. My point is that veganism is amazing and I literally could cry just thinking about it right now. It changed her, but not enough to get rid of or donate her fridge full of meat products. And also not enough to make her actually try veganism. Please explain Amberlyn. I made a whole video called, Am I Going Vegan? In that video, I was extremely foolish. I hadn't done a single drop of research. I had zero knowledge on veganism, why people are vegans, what happens in slaughterhouses, and what is in animal products. When I made the video, I was stating that I was not going vegan. I probably never would. My freaking answers were ridiculous. I said things like, I love the taste of milk, but I like milk and I like cereal and I like putting milk inside cereal and I like drinking milk and just milk is delicious. But little did I know that I am drinking pus and blood every time I drink milk and it's totally legal in the United States. I said things like, I love chicken. Chicken is one of my favorites if it's like cooked the right way. Little did I know, I was eating a chicken that was rolling around in its own feces with 300,000 other poor chickens. About a week ago, I absolutely adored a Five Guys cheeseburger. It is the best cheeseburger literally I've ever had in my life. But now all I can imagine is a cow dangling from its hoof, crying in agony as it's slaughtered to death. I looked down at the ankle that made that noise and my foot was just like, dangling her opinions change so fast and so often seems that she goes with what the majority says in the moment think for yourself form your own opinions giving us whiplash i am absolutely apologizing to every single one of you because i had no right making that video without doing my research i did not so my apologies through and through and i want to say thank you so so much for hounding me and leaving an overwhelming amount of comments telling me to go vegan. I really don't like when people push onto me other diet plans or ways of living because without you guys, I would have never for a, a milliscule second, if that's even a word, thought of doing any type of research towards veganism or towards how animals are treated. Nobody <laughs> go of him. Jesus Christ, that was like <laughs> About a week ago, I watched Food Inc. For some reason, after that, I could not stop watching documentaries involving veganism and how animals are treated and what we are putting into our bodies. I even went out of my way to go to Barnes & Noble and I sat there and I read on more veganism. Research Lynn going to Barnes & Noble to read about veganism is so funny. Girl, we know that didn't happen. She was trying to appease her audience and convince them that she was a changed girly pop. But I just want to tell you guys a few facts about what I have learned recently. Even to the meat eaters out there or the vegetarians, it's probably just a good thing to know. I am one of the biggest animal lovers out there. I can honestly say now thinking about it, like I can't have a dog and a cat as a pet and then sit there and eat bacon. Truly makes a sandwich is bacon. Heck to the Yes. I can't have, you know, a fish as a pet and sit there and eat tuna. Here we have tuna boats with celery. I can't do it. It's, I'm being an absolute hypocrite. 
We are all earthlings on this planet. As human beings, we are here to live, to feel, and to die of natural causes. We have no right whatsoever to kill another living thing. It is not right. It's not morally right. Like I said, there are 300,000 chickens in a small, small farming room, and they all pee and poop and peck and this and that and get diseases and die. This all happens in that small area, and we are eating this. Mm. Why are you so good? <laughs> pee and poop. Farmers will purposely make a chicken fatter just so us Americans can get white meat because that is what we prefer. And when that happens, they get so obese that they can't walk and it's really hard for them to breathe. My breathing is really bad today. We're constantly eating chicken eggs, but I have learned that eggs is nothing but a chicken period. We have grown so accustomed to eating these things that we don't take a second thought. Three scrambled eggs. Mm. I guess she came to terms with the fact that she s a human garbage disposal. Because none of this ever changed her eating habits at all. She just likes to lecture us like she's a professional or something after watching a couple documentaries. Pigs, oh my gosh, do not get me started. They're treated absolutely horribly. To hear them squealing is probably one of the saddest things in the whole entire world. <coughs> Would you guys go over to someone's house and look at a pig and be like, ooh, bacon? No, you wouldn't. To get milk, a female cow is constantly pregnant for their full term life. By making them pregnant, they are taking their child away from them. A cow will mourn for their child as it's taken from them. We are humans. We are not supposed to be drinking another species milk. I love milk. I know that's like weird. Once that cow can no longer give us milk, they turn into hamburger meat. You can eat a kosher hamburger all you want, but just know deep down they're being slaughtered in the exact same way as any other cow. Am I going vegan? No. Am I probably ever going to? No, probably not. Um, just thank you guys for helping with the environment and for helping the animals out there who need help because those animals can't talk and we can talk for them. And I appreciate that, that there are people out there willing to do that. But those trying to be vegan for weight loss, I mean, if it works for you, that's freaking amazing. I just don't see that in my cards. Stop telling me to be a vegan and stop acting like it's the only method for weight loss because it's really not.